welcome to the first video in which we summarize and review the various Battletech supplements. A lot of these supplements are out of print and can be quite costly to hunt down on the secondary market. Luckily, however, we can still access these in PDF form from sites such as Catalyst Game Lab's store page or drive through RPG. The downside to this is we can't take a look through the book to see if it's something we really want to purchase, and information online can be kind of scarce. My intention for this series is to sort of act as an alternative to grabbing a book off the shelf of your local game store and flipping through the pages before purchase. For this video, let's thumb through First Strike. First Strike was released in 1997 as a sort of starter book for players new to Battletech around the 4th edition release of the game. This book also references what was called City Tech 2nd edition at the time, the rules for which have been mostly updated and integrated into the current main rulebook for Battletech, Total Warfare. This book gives new players a handful of rules for scenarios to make their battles more exciting than a simple free-for-all. It also provides rules to allow players to create their own scenarios if they wish to do so. Somewhat unique for a supplement, it also provides beginners with some legitimately helpful battlefield tactics to improve their skills, and it also introduces, or was one of the earliest books to introduce, battlefield rules for battle mechs. Let's take a look at the book section by section. Looking at the introduction, as with most Battletech game books, it starts with a short story. This one about a young woman on her first day at a mech warrior academy known as the Nagel Ring. After the short story, it does what most introductions do and summarizes itself in the Welcome to First Strike subsection, then covers the basic concepts of the book. The What is a Scenario subsection explains what the basic idea of a scenario is. Quick note, one of my favorite parts of the book is the first sentence of the What is a Scenario section, where it comes off as the beginning of a middle school essay on the subject. The dictionary definition of a scenario is an account or synopsis of a blah 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 blah. Then in the How to Use Scenarios subsection, it covers how to use the pre-made scenarios from this book and explains the sections found in each. These are the situation, game setup, Attacker, Defender, Victory Conditions, Special Rules, and Variations. The General Scenario Rules subsection goes over the terminology found in the book, such as the difference between a map sheet, a single 22 by 18 pre-printed map sheet, and a map, the combination of map sheets that make up the play area. The actual text in the book refers to a map sheet as being 22 by 27. Some notes on this. Older Battletech supplements used to refer to map sheets as being 22 by 17. The actual sizes were 22 by 18. This book just had a typo and did not mean to reference the maps as being 22 by 27, but meant 22 by 17. The general scenario rules subsection also covers number of players rules if you want to play with more than just the standard two player game. The suggestion boils down to designating a team leader for each side and splitting the mechs in each scenario between the players, simple enough. This subsection also covers how to set up and end a scenario and how victory in these specific scenarios have levels, such as decisive and marginal. The next area of the introduction covers modifying the scenarios and teaches how to switch up your forces, alter deployment, and change map sheets. The introduction also has a couple handy tables at the end covering the unit composition of the successor states, or inner sphere, and the clans. The next chapter of the book, Playing Battletech, introduces us to some rules, concepts, and tactics, starting with the subsection fittingly titled Battletech Tactics. This subsection covers some interesting tactics on how to proceed if you lost or won the initiative rule, how to move defensively, and maximize the effect of your TMM. It covers how to use the terrain to your advantage, 
when to drop prone, and covers basic facing tactics. It goes on to cover how to move if you want to attack aggressively and use weapon range effectively as well as where to position yourself to minimize your opponent's ability to damage your forces while maximizing yours to damage theirs. It also has a chunky section on effective physical attacks and heat management. After this section, it goes on to battle mech force preparation by introducing battlefield roles to the mechs available at the time of release, such as scouts, strikers, skirmishers, then breaking the alliteration, brawlers, missile boats, snipers, and juggernauts. For each of the roles listed, the book covers a handful of battle mechs and individual strategies for each. This chapter alone is worth the price of the book and gets a high recommendation from me especially from a beginner's perspective. The strategies and tactics here teach invaluable skills to any level of mech warrior. Just keep in mind, the partial cover rules in the tactics section are outdated. We are then on to the next chapter, the meat of the book, the scenarios. The First Strike contains 13 scenarios of varying complexity for players to try some of them a part of a mini-campaign. These scenarios provide all the details needed to play, including the specific battle mechs and skills of each force. The first scenario, Showdown, sees a lance of Capellan forces up against a lance of Umdurian defenders in a simple fight to the death. The second scenario, Behind Enemy Lines, sees a medium lance of the second Chesterton Voltigors defending against a Quick Strike lance from the fourth Crucis Lancers. This one allows the defender to set up their forces anywhere on the map before play, while the attackers must enter from the south and retrieve a scout hidden on the map. The third scenario, Divided We Fall, has two lances from the first Free World's Guard defending against a company of the fourth defenders of Andorian. In this scenario, the Free World's Guards deploy all of their forces in the center of the map and the Andorian forces enter one lance at a time, each on turn one, three, and five. This is a free-for-all otherwise. The fourth scenario takes place as a 2v2 match at Steiner Stadium on Solaris 7, where the walls move up and down during the game. A fun note on this one is it takes place at the same time and alludes to a major event in the novel Warrior and Guard. This is just a small sampling of the variety of one-shot scenarios found in the book, but once we hit scenario 7, we get a mini-campaign, where over the course of three scenarios we have rules for repairing and salvaging mechs between missions. After, we move on to the city tech scenarios, where we start with some additional rules to bring in non-battle mech units and clan omni mechs into play. It also introduces how to play with clan honor, also known as Zelbrigan, to even the odds for inner sphere players. At the time of publication, it was still common to play with tonnage used as a form of list building, but ton for ton, clan omnimechs were much stronger than the battle mechs of the inner sphere. After this introduction of new rules, First Strike throws four more scenarios at us, now focused on the battles against the clan invasion. Then we are off to the next chapter, where we are taught how to create our own scenarios. First Strike uses the same base scenario types for creation as the newest rulebooks, such as those found in Total Warfare. These consist of Stand Up Fight, Hide and Seek, Hold the Line, Extraction, Breakthrough, and Chase. This section also contains quite a handful of random acquisition tables, or RATs, for determining randomized force composition. The Creating Scenarios chapter also provides a lot of Battletech history and lore to help the player flesh out their homemade scenarios. The last section of the book, Variants and Vehicles, is a short one which basically lists mech variants and provides sample record sheets to use with all the rules and concepts for a strike introduced above. That pretty much does it for our coverage of First Strike. Overall, the book is well worth the price of the PDF and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like and subscribe button and leave a comment letting me know what you thought and if you would like more content like this. You all take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time.